Okay, here we go. Joshua is about to get very brave for you guys today. And if you're new to our channel, Joshua is our 12 year old son who has autism. And um, he's getting ready to explain to you transitioning and how that feels to have that. And truly debilitating that can be to move on to new things in, in his life. So people with autism a lot of times have tr transitioning issues now Joshua is getting ready to explain to you. Stick around till the end of the video because I'm going to let you guys know what we're doing to help him with this. So enjoy the video and give him a big thumbs up for doing this. I'm super proud of him. We all are very proud of him. You were sad because... I you're... missed some stuff back then. You miss, well, what do you miss? First, tell me what you miss. My hair chalks, like the thingy dolly fish and billy bones. And, uh, you miss it from where? But where did? Where were you saying you missed? I miss the old house, and I also miss the, the old animatronics. And I miss the gentleman in the house back then. I miss my memories. I miss my memories. You miss your what? Say a little louder. I miss my memories. I miss my old house. I miss my old animatronics I used to have. What made you start thinking about all that? Oh, hold on. How did you start thinking about all that? Um, I think it's... Hmm? I think it's because I, um, watched. Watched what? What'd you watch? It's the visions of Tio and Lechonic from Techie Toys. From Techie Toys? Yeah. And would you see something you used to have or something? No, it reminded me. He did that. It reminded me of all the memories back then. And you're really upset about this, right? Mm -hmm. So what can mommy do to help you feel better? What would make you feel better? Is there anything if that would... If it's even possible, you can try to get them. You can try to get my billy bones with seeing zombie fish on eBay. Oh, we don't have it? In the garage or anything? No, because I destroyed the bow. Oh, okay. Well, and uh, for the skull, that the skull that plays in the Halloween theme. I don't know what happened to it. Did we lose it in the move, maybe, or? No, I didn't move, lose it in the move. Back in like 2011, when I have it, somehow I don't know what happened to it. So we we had it back in 2011. We just don't no, know. No, 2012, I mean. 2012. And that was what? Which one? That um, skulls that plays the Halloween theme. That um, that skeleton that um, flashes its teeth and eyes light. Where did we get that one at? Do you remember? Target. Um, Target. That's where I found that. Um, that's where I got that um, dual pumpkin at. Oh, well, does Target have them? Do you know? No, they discontinued them. Well, that's one. And what was the other two? You said the billy bones? And the singing zombie fish. And the singing zombie fish. They're gone. They're... I destroyed them both. And that was because you were younger. Why did you destroy it? Do you, do you know why? I think because they're breaking. They were breaking, and so you would break it more because it just was already broke. So Same with the um, Travis the Trout and Cold Catfish fish. I destroyed them both because... I think they're breaking. Okay, so when something is is broken to you, you just destroy it more because it's already broke, right? It's not going to hurt it anymore. Yeah. D or does it get you mad that it's broke and you do that? Do you know it why? It gets me a little mad. Get you a little mad. Mm -hmm. Do you still do that or do you not do that anymore? I don't do it anymore. You don't do it anymore, do you? Mm -hmm. You're learning. Right. You're, you're doing a lot better, right? Yeah. Halloween skull. And I need to get out the Edison candelabra from the garage. I have it, but it's in the garage. So this stuff, seeing this stuff on videos last night on Techie Toys made you sad. 
made you think about the old house and your old memories. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, also, I really miss my own Greenmaker door. They're not Jimmy, but I really miss them. I got them back at Walgreens back in 2013. Okay. Same with my, um, well, I destroyed them all. I think I still, I think I used to have that grooming gooey scout. And maybe the mummy. And, and I've probably seen that dynamite skeleton, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I saw it. Either. I don't know. And then what what do you want us to do to help you feel better? So you're not sad about this? Maybe if you got if you find my Edison County Library and get all my old animatronics back by buying them on eBay. That'll make me a little happy. That'll make you a little happy. Do you miss the old house? Or do you just miss the memories of your toys that you don't have. Do you know? I also miss the old house. You also miss the old house. That's been hard for you moving, right? Yeah. That's been really hard. Well, I guess what I'm thinking. What? I'm thinking you and Daddy are going to have a really good day today. And I think that you're going to probably not be too sad. But we can talk about getting back your old stuff and looking in the garage for anything you're missing. Okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. And I want you to go have fun with Daddy today, okay? All right. All right? Yeah. Okay. You have anything else you want to say? Is this okay I videoed this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You still look sad. I think you need to get up and go have fun, right? Yeah. How about a high five for a fun day? Yeah? Think? Thumbs up for a fun day with Daddy? You're going to be okay, right? Yeah, you are. Come here. I'm sorry you're sad, baby. But you're going to have a lot of fun. I can promise you that. And I think just to just... To know that I'm right, that you're going to have a good day, I'm filming you now before you leave. I'm going to film you when you come back, and I bet there's going to be a great big smile on your face. Right? Yeah. And you're going to tell me everything you did? Yeah. Okay. Deal. Deal? Oh. Pinky promised you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys. Sorry. I had a little snack while he was talking to you guys. I hope you can see how hard this is for him and how serious this transitioning can be anything that is out of their ordinary everyday realm um going to a new school starting school for the first time changing classrooms getting up at a different hour in the morning can be a big transition for him so here's what we're doing to help him and this is what we do with just about everything when something starts to happen with Joshua and we notice that he is really starting to have any kind of regression. Um, if he's having a lot of anxiety, which this also goes along with transitioning anxiety, we go back to basics. We go back to sleep, food, um, uh, structure, uh, back to the basics of, I guess I should have did this way so you could see three things. Um, it, kind of like going back to the core of him, and that is making sure he gets uh, as much sleep as he can possibly get, which is usually anywhere from, he can go from 8 to 10 hours a night he will sleep. Um, taking sugar out and any kind of processed food and gluten and anything that we can get into his body that is healthy and good for him and take out the bad. So we start with his inner, you know, the inner, the body, sleep. And then structure. We try to get back into a very regimented structure for him because that slows that anxiousness down for him. He's not so anxious about this stuff. It doesn't bring up like regression. Um, it could be potty training regression. It could be, um, and if you want to see more about that, go to the videos up here. And I did do some on regression with him. When we start to see this happening with him, 
we just try to go back to all the basics. And I'll tell you one thing that I will do if I can, if I can do it is if he's staying up late at night, I will go the next morning if I can, if I have a day that I can do that because I know he's going to be a handful if I do this. But I will get him up super early, like 4.30 in the morning, just to tire him out to get him back on schedule that night. But I don't recommend that if you've got a busy day the next day because that's just going to make a really awful day for everybody. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you would, please give Joshua a big thumbs up for doing this because we're so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Daddy's so proud of him. And he's proud of him. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and tune in for more of our videos. We look forward to having you guys comment and share and supporting autism. So thanks. Peace. Ooh. Happy Valentine's Day.